Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 64 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And as noted in our previous video, at the end, the the builds are failing because coveralls was down. And um, this is about three days later and coveralls is still down. So rather than we look at our backlog here, Rather than um, knocking out these two uh, minor fixes, I'm going to move this item that's been kind of at the bottom of our backlog for a while to the top of our backlog, which is adding Nerd Dice to the cat catalog for Ruby to Toolbox. So Ruby Toolbox is can be found at ruby-toolbox.com, and it's a uh, a website that catalogs and um, various Ruby gems in the Ruby ecosystem and uh, allows you to browse them by category. It tells you how popular they are, which can help indicate how much support you're going to get, uh, how, how long the gem will stay around, stuff like that. So when you're, re when you're choosing things for what you're going to pick for gems and dependencies in your gem file, um, you want to make sure that you choose choose gems that will that that other things being equal are uh, widely adopted that are frequently updated that are in a good code health standpoint here. So let's look at Rails as an example. So Rails has been around for a long time. It's a long lived project that still receives updates. You can see information on it. Rails has 302 million downloads, 49,000 stars. You're going to be in pretty good shape um, dealing with the, these things. It um, provides you a link to the project's README. So it's pretty nifty. And if you want to go, and let's say you want to find out, let's say I want to find out about pagination. I can search for pagination. There's a category associated with it, and it will tell you kind of what the, um, what your options are. So your, your most common, your two main players here are Kaminari and will paginate and you can see that um, Kaminari hasn't been, hasn't had a release in a year. Will Paginate um, has, so it re released as recently as August, whereas Kaminari hasn't um, had those changes. So you could, if you want to figure out what choice you're going to make about pagination, you can go to those two gems and you can compare them and decide for your project what you are most comfortable with in terms of the the trade-offs and the um, the way that you want to go about it so um, so you can do stuff like that you can look at your if we look at this project you can search for a particular item so this is our our uh, gem here uh, it's got a rating of 0, 0.0 so rather than the 380 million downloads that rails has it has 1200 total downloads and then the it has information about the current version total releases including the point releases on your maintenance branches and stuff like that, the first release that you had, the most recent release, number of open issues, closed issues, closure rate, um, pull request acceptance rate, uh, information about licensing, average data to the last 50 commits, 
um, provides you information about dependencies, and then gives you a um, the README. This is where I noticed the, um, it was actually on Roomby Toolbox when I noticed the, um, the error um, with iterating through dices in a dice set. So we'll fix that once cover also is back up, but um, it was actually on Ruby Toolbox when I was doing that. So now we're gonna take a look at the categories here. So if we go to categories, gives you a list of what the different categories are. And it does note here, um, the catalog itself is available for contributions on GitHub. So that's what we're going to, I'll create this in a new tab. So it provides information. It gives you a pull request template. So take a look at that. Pause it briefly. So those all seem like reasonable requests. So nothing appears to be super difficult here. So we will now fork this repo. I'm gonna fork it to my personal repo rather than to stateless code. So pause while um, that, that happened quickly. So got that. Now I can take this Clone it. So now go into VS Code will temporarily close our Nerd Dice folder and we'll open the Ruby Toolbox folder. And it notes in the, the README here, I can go, I guess I can go to my README now, that um, information about the structure and how you essentially just need to make sure that you add to the different categories in the catalog in a case insensitive order. So we'll take a look at fun. Fun is probably one that would make sense for us. So I can take a look at game libraries and I would want to, if I want to include this, go in and add nerd dice here. And then the other one where it probably makes sense is in math and science. So there's a math um, and an aeronautics and I can add to that. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So take a look here, catalog, and then fun game libraries. these two so I'd add in nerd dice save that and then I would go into math and science math.yaml and this would be between these two save that And then we're going to is that a gem spec? Try 
if I'm going to stall here. Could not locate a gem pile. pause and allow the version of Ruby we need to install run that so now I can attempt to bundle install That works. Rubocop is fine. The gem file lock did not change. So I think we can Get add catalog, add our changes, and then we'll commit that. Write our commit message. So this is the commit message. I looked at some of the other ones and they weren't too detailed. So that's what we've got. I'll sign it. So we've signed it. push and this pushes it to my my own forked version of the master branch there now we can go in the catalog and see my commit in here Contribute, open pull request. Create pull request. I will, well, let's take a look at the, the preview. So it's the checklist there. So I'll pause and make sure that I get that all taken care of. So I've completed the checklist. We will allow edits by maintainers, create the pull request. And it is now showing as open. Now we'll go into the the backlog, and we'll just keep this in progress until it it either gets merged or I have um, feedback or it gets rejected or whatever. So we'll just kind of keep that one in progress, and that will do it for this episode. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.